welcome back to the Coco channel and to another Mask It Up Monday. So, I don't know why I just sounded like a wrestling announcer. Um, so, today we are doing not a full face mask, but I really wanted to try this Dr. Jart Blackhead Master Patch. It's a two-step blackhead nose treatment. So like I said, it's not for little face mask, but um, we're going to see if we can get rid of some of these frayings on my nose and on my little cheekers. So you have step one, which is a dry patch. Step two, which is a wet patch. Um, so I need to go get my little nose wet. So I'll be right back. Okay, so my nose is pretty much soaking wet, as is the rest of my face. I was going to say something really stupid. Um, okay, so we're going to put this bad boy on. That is, that's tight. Um, okay, so you're supposed to apply dry patch to wet nose. Let dry for 10 minutes, then gently remove to extract blackheads which obviously needs a Russian accent. Um, so, I don't think I'm gonna do my nails with you guys this time just because, I don't know, I don't know if you guys are enjoying it yet because I'm literally doing this like two days after that other charcoal mask that I just did in last week's episode. And I feel like I'm not like anything professional. Maybe I'll just show you what I'm gonna put on my nails. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so we have what three minutes under our belt. So I'm gonna take off this polish. <sighs> do I really want to do all this right now? I'm not gonna do my nails right now. I really don't feel like it. So in what 10 minutes? What does it say? 10 to 15. In 10 to 15 minutes, I'll come back on and show you guys. I really don't. It's really late at night. It's like literally 11:30 at night so I'm not gonna do my nails in this video we could just switch it up every week but the exciting thing is that I'm finally doing this at night so I can show you guys my nighttime skin care routine <laughs> I'm gonna play with my ABH palette that's brand new I haven't even swatched it let's see what tickles my fancy you know what's crazy is that the letters on here are like peeling off and one of my shadows is like kind of cracked. Love letter is seriously calling my name. Is there really only like two shimmers in here? Okay, I see you. We're gonna be Juan Fresco is in this palette. That's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite eyeshadows from her oh I feel like this is already dry is that weird surely it can't be done already what is real 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 gar what is that okay so it's definitely hard now so I'm gonna <laughs> oh yeah Oh, it's making my eyes water. Whew. Oh my god. So we pulled out some yuckies for sure. Let me see if I can get this. If you guys can see it or not. Pretty disgusting. Not as many as I would have liked. Woo! Okay, so now for step two, which is the wet patch, moist patch. Ooh, okay. Oh, hello. Okay, okay. So we're supposed to put this on for 10 minutes. I don't know what this does. So. It tightens up your pores so that way the stuff doesn't build back up. So you leave it on for 10 minutes and then we're going to massage the wetness into remaining serum into nose to help tighten and tone. And while I was waiting for the other one to dry, I did decide to paint my toenails. So I'm using Virgin Snow, which is from the Essie Winter 2015 collection. 
and I'm going to accent it with Après Chic, which is also from that same collection. I know it's a winter collection, but I feel like pastels, especially on your toes in summer, it makes you look so much more tan. So we're going to let this hang out for about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been tan minute, so I'm going to take this bad boy off. And I'm going to look up close to see how it really looks. So, upon further inspection, up close in the mirror, I feel like it didn't grab as much as it could have. Like, I'm talking, we have Blackhead City, like, right in here. All right here. <laughs> I have no shame. Not that I want them there, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm just being honest. I have a ton of Blackheads everywhere in this area. And from what it grabbed... It, I'm not impressed at all. And this thing was originally $8. I'm really glad that I didn't pay full price for this. I got it at TJ Maxx for 5 bucks. So this was not impressive to me at all. I felt like it could have grabbed a lot more for what's in the real estate up there. So that was definitely a miss for me. Um, I don't even feel like I need to do an update. I feel like this is like a one and done kind of video. You know what I mean? I don't notice anything with the serum. Like, it feels sticky. It stung. Like, I'm not impressed with this at all. Do not recommend. So, so um, I just did my exit, but I forgot that I told you guys I would show you my nighttime skincare routine. So, I already toned my face with my Murad Essential C Toner. You guys know this is, like, my favorite thing right now. Um, it has the environmental shield, which helps Fight free radicals. What is going on? What is my hand? Um, so next thing I'm gonna do is go in with my Sunday Riley Good Jeans. So I just pump it on the back of my hand. I don't even do a full pump because I don't feel like I need that much. And so I use this as my serum. It has the most we like weird smell. And I especially concentrate it right here in the middle and in these little gorgeous wrinkles right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my eye cream. Right now I'm using the Etre Belle Golden Skin Caviar Eye Gel. And so it has that like metal roller which feels so good. And the serum like doesn't burn your eyes or anything. Although I must say I used a new face wash and it irritated the loving bejesus out of my eyes. Like you can see how red they are. Woo wee. So I just pat that in and then I go over my eyelids because don't want them wrinkly either. And I just pat it in. And then for my moisturizer, I'm going to go in with my Origins Nitamins. I'm almost out and I'm so sad. But seriously, like the littlest bit goes the longest way. It's very concentrated. And then I always take it down my neck and my chest because nobody will tell me the correct word for it. Is it decollete or is it decollete? And then to finish it off, I am going to put on a Bite Beauty mask for my lips. Um, it's just a glorified lip balm. And it wasn't a sample pack. Um, this is the, what is this, Natural Bite Beauty um, Agave Lip Mask. So Soothe, Nourish, and Hydrate. I'm guessing this is the nourishing one. I don't know. But it's really cute. It comes in like a little blister packet, but it's like in the shape of lips. It honestly just feels like Vaseline. Like it's really thick. And my lips aren't super dry right now, which is surprising 
Otherwise, I would use a lip scrub. So that is it for my nighttime skincare routine. Look at these curls. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay, so that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super quick mask it up Monday if you did please give me a thumbs up so I know you would like me to continue doing mask it up Monday if you are new hello and welcome my name is Brittany Coco and you are watching the Coco channel thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video